hey loves welcome and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video so today's video i am just going to be sharing with you guys certain skills that you need you need you need like emphasis on need to learn before you move to the uk or abroad generally if you have plans of traveling out of your country please go and learn these skills because they are lifesavers it will help you to make your landing and your living in that country you find yourself a lot more easier okay so from someone who recently relocated from dubai to the uk i am telling you guys <laughs> it is very important to learn these skills okay um so without wasting much time let's just jump right into the video <laughs> So the very first skill is driving skills. To be honest, you need to learn how to drive. If you have plans of moving to the UK or any other country, please, please, please go and learn how to drive, preferably a manual car. Because over here in the UK, we realize that manual cars are quite cheaper than automatic cars it's very important to drive to learn how to drive a manual car especially when you get jobs like maybe care jobs and you need to um shuttle between one house to another or one place to another some companies give you car a car but you need to know how to drive some don't give you but at least know how to drive for yourself because sometimes they may ask you do you have a driving license do you know how to drive it's a plus 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 when you know how to drive and you are in this country it distinguishes you from every other applicant, every other person who is searching for a job. Imagine five people are looking for a particular job. The employer will rather give the job to that person who knows how to drive and who can drive, preferably who even has a car, than to give the job to some other people who don't know how to drive and all that. You get what I mean? So please take out time to, don't just say you want to travel and you will wing it. Take our time to learn how to drive. It is extremely, extremely, extremely important over here in the UK, okay? Because even when you come with your driving license, you can work for in the UK for like a year before you are able to, before you can now, you know, switch to your UK license, which is not cheap and it's more, you know, it's more stressful to get a license. It's not like our country where <laughs> you just get license any year. Over here, it is very, very tedious to get a driver's license. So please learn how to drive preferably a manual car okay it's going to help you a long long way so the next skill that you should learn is communication skills okay i know that some of us coming over to the uk we don't know how to talk to people one of the things i was looking out for when we we're moving here is communication skills because i know that these british people they talk very some of them talk fast and their accent their english accent is not the regular our regular accent you get it's very thick especially when you are looking for jobs maybe as a receptionist there are other good jobs don't get me wrong there are other high professional jobs but you also need to learn the communication skills you need to learn how to communicate to people how to interact with people the british people are very very um courtesy cautious okay there was a day i was driving somewhere and someone stopped for me to pass i waved at her but she didn't see my hand so she came to my front again and she was like say thank you and i'm like i said thank you but you didn't see me maybe i should have just maybe hung or brought my hand out very well so they love courtesy so be very cautious like when somebody does something for you say thank you say hello you know be very very cautious um is it cautious or courtesy or courtesy conscious or how do they put this english so um it's very important you get what i mean learn these communication skills it goes a long way especially when somebody is talking to you maybe you have a client or you have a customer or maybe you are working in a place where you need to interact with people and they are telling you a just because you don't understand what they are saying you are doing b they may be telling you administer these drugs or this medication at this time to this patient maybe you are working in the care home and because you don't understand what you are being told you are giving the person something differently altogether it's going to result in a big problem and you might find yourself in a big problem so learn how to communicate communication a good communication skills is very very important learn it okay don't overlook it and say it will not be just to talk I will talk there are different levels of talking learn how to communicate a good listener a good communicator 
these skills are very very important so another I mean. skill that you need to learn is digital skills okay because i realize that most of us coming home coming here from um overseas when we especially those of you who are students you are coming on a student um, visa level or something and you need to study most of the things they do is on the computer on the laptop most of the assignments is on the computer imagine you are coming you don't know you don't even know anything about excel you don't know anything about powerpoint you don't know anything about how to all, all you know how to do is maybe watch a movie on the computer you've not learned anything on how to operate a computer you need to learn it there are so many jobs in this country that requires you to be digi digitally inclined you get what i mean so go and learn at least the basis of computer okay go and learn it how to you know write an essay how to do something these are very very important skills not just for the students even for workers you might get a job maybe a a customer um a customer representative and you you need to learn how to use your computer you cannot you cannot <laughs> you need to be computer literate basically those are not things they're going to teach you in your training you get what i mean so you need to have this full knowledge so equip yourself with these skills it will help you a lot 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 okay now moving on to other kind of skills that you may think is not important but it is important so number one is cooking skills you guys i am laughing because <laughs> african food here is it's not it's not it's not where you're coming from that you say oh i'm hungry just go to one mama put joints and we buy rice beans my uh, uh what they call it spaghetti everything dodo everything put shop or put mama, put everything in one place and your plate of food will be looking like you want to go and do feast if you come here and try that you will spend a whole lot of money so you need to learn how to cook for yourself don't say oh i'm a man or i'm a woman whether you're a man or you're a woman it does not matter your wife may be working um working a shift and close by nine and you close by six are you going to wait for your wife to come home by nine or ten before you people will eat so as a man as a woman it's very important to learn how to cook it's not like africa where you say oh um i'm the man the woman has to do the cooking here there is no delegate <laughs> it is not, does not work like that okay anybody that can make the food anybody that can help in any way they can should help because a lot of things happen in this country where the wife may be working and the husband is working so the both of you need to learn a man a woman a boy or girl learn how to cook because if you constantly start buying food from outside <laughs> i don't know how much you are making sure so let me not let me let me not even talk too much okay so learn how to cook is very important you can also start making food for people you get what i mean there are people who are so busy with school or with work they don't have time to cook it can even become a side also for you you tell people i can cook you make a pot of soup you tell them the price you deliver to them a pot of stew you get what i mean so learn how to cook is extremely important also learn how to bake because birthday cakes and the rest pastries and all that somebody might just be doing a get together and say oh please i'm ordering 50 pieces of meat pie or chicken this is something i should even start doing i don't know maybe because my house is very far from where the i should be going to those areas and be telling them come and patronize me i can bake oh. you get what i mean so imagine you are in a somebody's doing party or something and they need like 50 pieces of meat pie and you baking is not a problem for you ah you collect the contract me now and bake the meat pie this deliver to them collect your money put in your pot it's a side it's just a way for you to earn more you get what i mean so try as much as possible to learn how to cook learn how to bake it will help you a long way okay so another thing that you should learn how to do over here in the uk is hair making all oh, my ladies oh my gentlemen how to cut your hair how to barb your hair how to make your hair how to you know do makeup these are essential skills because as a woman except you are coming in with low cut you just want to shave your hair you don't have time to be thinking about hairstyles even if you want to wear a wig you will agree with me that you still need to make corn roll underneath your wig you get what i mean so at least learn the basic even if it's just to wave your hair all back learn how to control your own hair because sometimes like me now if i want to make my hair the money i will use to even transport myself to the place is far to go and make my hair then the money they will charge me going to like nine um 80 to 100 pounds i will sit down in the comfort of my house in two three hours i'm done with my hair and everybody is happy in another two weeks or three weeks or one month depending on the style that i make i can do that again so learn how to make your hair 
learn how to cut your hair you know at the end of the day it's just an extra cash and money is never too much okay um it's not the, it's not going to it may not be your permanent bus stop but it's a means to an end you earning this little thing adding to your salary adding to other businesses or side hustles that you are doing it's going to help you a long way and because there are a lot of bills in this country don't be deceived there are a lot of bills which brings me to my next point which is handyman learn how to fix certain things because in abroad you cannot when you buy furniture they will bring it to you in carton you are the one that will start fixing start reading how to fix how to certain things that you need to learn how to do uh-huh learn how to fix such plumbing you know anything you know you can do just learn it definitely definitely learn how to do it now this brings me to my final point this is the father and mother of all the points you've been hearing which is learn how to save money learn how to save there are certain people who if money just enter their hand like this they are thinking what am i going to buy where am i going to what am i going to do i want to go and enjoy weekend this that groove we are outside you, you start seeing them everywhere we are outside we are outside small money that has entered your pocket you are doing wrong, wrong, up and down calm down in this country the bills will humble you this is not a country where you you spend money anyhow you have to be intentional you have to when you are not using a light switch it off you have to be mindful of how you use water it's not like nigeria where you are coming from and the borehole is in your compound you can use the whole tank and pump another one it's not so the more you are using water the more your water bill is going up the more you are using electricity the more your electricity is going up so be very very intentional about how you spend how you use things be very very if you are not a good saver you're not somebody who knows how to prioritize money or things learn it because there are certain things that you have to let go this month and budget for next month ahem be a good budgeter plan your income very well how much you are spending on accommodation how much you are spending for electricity and gas how much you are spending for grocery grocery can be very very pricey also be careful how you spend don't say everything is hungry me you want to eat today i feel like eating this i want to eat it there are certain times yes it's good to eat food is good but know how you are spending so at the end of the day you are not spending all your income for anything and you don't have any savings that's basically what i'm saying be very careful uk is so tricky this country <laughs> you may be making the money is big but at the end of the day you may not be able to account for it so be very very careful be intentional about how you spend be mindful of savings learn how to save and pray that god should help you if you get what i mean go and learn it all those of you that are doing for that somebody will call you for 10 naira, you give them 20 somebody will call you for it's good to give oh don't get me wrong i'm a giver i love to give but be intentional plan your giving don't just be a for that christmas and at the end of the day you have nothing to fall back on those people that you are helping a time will come they will never remember <laughs> i'm telling you just be careful and be intentional with your money anyways i hope this video was helpful if you enjoyed watching the video please give it a thumbs up it will help me a lot a lot a lot and comment down below add points to it anything that you feel that i left out please add it in the comment section so that we'll read and also learn from you like the video comment down below share 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 subscribe to my excuse me you guys subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys and do stay blessed bye who knows how to prioritize prior english prior oh my goodness you don't know how to prioritize you guys take it like that